Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to my unboxing for Fuse for the Xbox 360, which is the brand new game from Insomniac Games, the guys that made Ratchet and Clank and the Resistance series. But what's different about this? Look at that. Was that? Xbox 360 and on PS3. Well, it is, but it's not just on PS3. Um, unlike Ratchet and Clank and Resistance, which were all on PS3 and that's it. That's all you can get them on. Right, well, Ratchet and Clank... The first few were on PS... whatever, it doesn't matter. But, um, they're all on Sony uh, platforms, except this one. This one is on Xbox also, and this was, of course, announced to be called Overstrike. They switched it around, switched the way it looks, switched the personality all around. EA came in and gave it the, the EA touch of death and just turned it into, you know, freaking Military Shooter 101, except you have alien devices or whatnot. So... I'm still looking forward to it. Insomniac Games know how to make a good video game, so I'm still looking forward to it. I'm still, you know, whatever. The reviews aren't that great, but you know what? I give things a chance, unlike most critics. Most critics are just like, I don't like it. Me? I give it a chance, okay? I'm, I'm reliable. Don't worry about it. Okay, or I'm just gullible. Either one. Uh, <laughs> probably both. No, just, no, you can't be both. I'm just gullible. Um, so, here's the front. Here's the back. Got some screenshots. And here's the side. Alright, this box is bitch, which it's EA, so I'm guessing it's just going to have a disc and uh, a warranty on the back of the cover art. That's pretty much it. So, again, unboxings are just becoming extremely predictable, but you know what? I like doing them because I like talking about stuff. That's usually why I do them. If I, if I just did an unboxing where I said nothing and just showed the, the case and the disc and whatnot, then eh. I wouldn't do that. So, alright, the first thing you get, I wouldn't, I wouldn't enjoy it. So the first thing you get is this. Just a thing that tells you, you can link your gamer tag, you do this, you can do that. I don't, I don't, I don't know, link what gamer tag to what. I guess Origins, I guess. I don't know. Here you go, that's all. And then of course you get a blank ass background. No, no uh, warranty this time. Uh, I think that's usually more Ubisoft's thing or something or whatever. And Actually, I think most companies just do that. And you get the disc, which is pretty simple. It just says Fuse, Disc Art, whatnot. So that's pretty much it. One thing I want to say real quick before I, uh, before I get on to uh, stopping this video. I don't have anything else to talk about. Um, <laughs> I thought it was really funny. The box art itself looks pretty decent. Now, I didn't do a box art reviews this week. I'm going to do one next week. But I will be reviewing this box art next week. So, if you like box art reviews, that will be next week. If you don't know what box art reviews is, just disregard what I just said. Um, but what I think is really funny about this box art is that it looks pretty good. You know, nice orange. You know, it's it's nice. It's orange. You know, not many cover arts use orange, you know, besides the orange box, I guess. I don't know. Um, but then, you show all these characters. You can barely see their faces. Look at it. You can barely see their faces. And the one black character, the one black character, where is he? He's right there. Guess what? The, was it? The, the NTSC logo blocks his face. Racist. EA's racist. There you go. I, I cracked the code. The EA code. They're racist. So there you go. There's my unboxing for Fuse. I'm starting some stuff in this video. So there you go. There's my unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and goodbye.